Let's talk about falling off the wagon. Come on, let's face it, we all do it. The fact of the matter is it's going to happen throughout your journey multiple times. It's not just going to happen the once. And identifying how we manage that is key for long-term results, but also to understand that it's okay. So I sit down with people on a weekly basis and it's amazing how many people have uh, a bit of a topsy-turvy kind of relationship with food where what I'm trying to instill in people is to have a bit of more of a relaxed approach where you don't necessarily attach a negative emotion to something. So I eat pizza, I eat ice cream, I drink alcohol. Okay, I'm still in good shape. And that's not because I spend hours upon hours down here training. It's purely because I understand my numbers and I understand how to manipulate those figures. But also that once I've consumed those things, I'm okay with it. I don't kick myself, I don't think oh, I've slashed one tire on my car, I've slashed the other three. I just draw a line in the sand, I know that I might get some repercussions of those consumptions which might be being a bit irritable, a bit grouchy, a bit of bloating, maybe a little bit of discomfort, but in the grand scheme of things I'm okay. But I certainly don't walk away going, well I've thrown the towel in now, let's completely sabotage my progress. I know exactly what I'm consuming and then like I said I draw a line in the sand. So couple of tips for you. Once you know your daily caloric intake and you know what protein uh, you should be consuming, I apologize, that's wrong. 160 grams of protein per day. We're going to look at how a week may unfold. Okay, so let's just say on a Monday we hit our calories bang on the nose and we hit our protein as well. So we just simply give that a tick. We do the same on Tuesday, and we're pretty good throughout the week, to be honest, and it gets to Friday. And it's been one of those weeks, it's just been an absolutely chaotic week. And you go for it. The takeaway comes in, the bottles of wine come out, and before we know it, we're in excess of 3,500 calories and counting. We are going for it. So my advice to you here is, let's draw a line in the sand before the event. Strange one, right? But if we draw a line in the sand before the event and work out a new week up until the following Thursday, we can address that. Now, the hardest part is, is when people fall off the wagon, they've got no desire to track their calories via MyFitnessPal and any other platform that they're using. They just throw the towel in. But even a guesstimate is sometimes a better position and not even thinking about it at all. So let's just go in the excess of 6,000 calories. Because I did go for it. I went out, all out. The takeaway came in, like I said, the bottles of wine came out. I had some biscuits, I had some chocolate. It was just stressful. My week was hell. So I've got 6,000 calories gone in one day. One day, just gone. Okay, so what I now need to do, if I just grab my calculator, is work out what my weekly calories would have been. So it's 2,350 calories per day, and we times that by seven. And we're left with 16,450 calories for the week. However, I've gone for it, like I've said. So 6,000 have got to come off that straight away. 6,000 off that, I'm left with 10,045. Sorry, 10,450. So 10,450 divided by the remaining six days of the week brings me down to a new daily average. We'll put it on, we'll plot it on the graph. So I have to hit it as of Sunday, oh sorry, as of Saturday, because I went for it on the Friday night, of 1,741. So if you have gone all guns blazing and you have fallen off the wagon, so you would often say, gauge it. If you haven't tracked it and you don't want to track it, overestimate what you've consumed. I've put myself in the region of 6,000, okay? Not that I would allow myself that, but I'd rather overestimate than under. I then took my 6,000 off my old weekly consumption, which was 16,450 
and I've been left with 10,450 to see me out the remaining six days. I then divide that figure by six, which now gives me 1,741, which is again, very achievable and all within our control. But let's look at another scenario. Let's look at what happens if we fall off the wagon, say here, during that phase, for whatever reason, maybe you're going through an extremely stressful period. And let's just say that the calories go back up in that region of maybe not as high, but let's say 4,000 calories. Now look, time goes on. You have very much time in your control and in your hands. So if we do continue to fall off the wagon for whatever reason, yes, it might go a little bit deeper than just a bit of stress. There may be some habitual things that we need to work on, but you have full control when you know what you're doing. And during a phase where you've had maybe a controlled indulgence and we do some calculations to get us back on track, yes, okay, occasionally errors do occur. But remember, we have time. And providing we know our numbers, we can draw a line in the sand, whether it's before the event or after the event. When we draw a line before the event, we know that that's the start of our week and we work our way across. If it happens in that phase, we have this time. We just reassess, we recalculate constantly. I hope that's helped and remember, if you get a puncture in one tire, don't go and manually pop the other three.